Welcome to the Missing Live Stream. We are broadcasting a video tonight instead of live stream in order to discuss some things that we will have on our live stream on Thursday night at 7 o'clock p.m. Central Time. Uh, as you know, or some of you don't know, I was a, I am a retired law enforcement officer with 33 years experience. Uh, and we discussed stuff on our Thursday night live program about missing people all over the United States. In fact, the world. Well, today we're going to go into a, a three missing women, women, and new this morning, an investigation is underway after two sisters from Texas and a friend went missing while traveling in Mexico. According to authorities, the three women crossed the border back on February 24th to sell clothes at a flea market. Their family says they haven't been heard from since. While details around their disappearances are still limited, police say they were traveling in a green Chevy Silverado and were heading to a city about three hours from the border. And the news of the woman's disappearance coming just days after four Americans were abducted in Mexico. Two of them died. Now, Texas DPS is urging Texas to avoid traveling to Mexico for spring break. As DP DPS is citing drug cartel violence and other criminal activity, the U.S. State Department has issued travel warnings about Mexico. And they are specifically warning not to travel to the Mexican states you see on your screen right now. You see it on the map. The government says crime such as homicide, kidnapping, carjackings, and robbery are all common in these areas. We spoke to a security advisor uh, about the killing of two Americans by a drug cartel and if it'll have any impact on spring break trips to Mexico. You need to be educated. So before you go, you really need to understand what the environment is, uh, kind of where the criminals are, how they operate, and how you can avoid them. Um, and all that stuff is, is pretty easily obtainable by a little research. Now, the State Department says any citizen who decides to travel to Mexico should register with the nearest U.S. embassy or consulate. These are the three missing women that went to Mexico across the border about two weeks ago, a little over two weeks. Uh, they are, are all Hispanic. And like they said, they are Mexican nationals. That's going to probably interfere with the United States putting pressure on Mexico is bad because they are citizens of Mexico, um, even though they were living in the United States. Uh, three women bleed to be missing Mexico across the U.S. border, traveling from Texas uh, to sell clothes at a flea market approximately two weeks ago. Uh, Mexican authorities are investigating the disappearance of three women identified by police as uh, Maria Piaz Reyes, 48, her sister, uh, Martinez, I guess that's the way she pronounced it, Reyes, 47, and a friend, Dora Crivantes. Now, I'm, not, I'm horrible with Mexican names. The group crossed the Mexican border on the February 24th. Uh, in the town is P-E-N-T-P-E-N-I-T-A-S. Pentez, uh, Texas. On Saturday, they were heading to Monta Morales, I guess that is, in Mexican state, there to sell clothes at a flea market. Uh, the market is about a three hour drive from the Mexican border. Let's see here if I can get to the next thing I've had here, Reggie. I'll just be patient with me on these names. Appreciate it. The women have been missing for uh, one week before four Americans were kidnapped and two were killed at the American border. Now, I'm going to tell you that the cartel delivered these the bad guys to the government. Zip tied, had them in the, in the <clears throat> middle of the street and issued an apology for the uh, kidnapping. Well, I'm sorry. Issue apology. Sorry, I had to get a drink of water. The apology should be for the, all the Americans you kill every year 
uh, through fentanyl, cocaine, and all kinds of other drugs that you cross, and human trafficking, slave labor, all this kind of stuff that you do, the cartels do. They're horrible people, and I don't accept their apology. I, I think that they need to be stomped out, out the, in Mexico. That's my opinion. <clears throat> A source with the uh, General Attorney General's office told CNN investigations into the three missing women involved various police agencies, a search committee, uh, a search committee as well as drones, dogs, and vehicles. I don't know what a search committee is. The last signal received by the women uh, was in the Mexican state of, uh, uh, you have to read that yourself because I can't even pronounce that word, Tamalupas. According to a source, upon their arrival there, I guess where the flea market was, the women told the contacts in the market that they had made a wrong turn, the sources said. Uh, Malia's husband has been all weekend trying to reach her, uh, hadn't heard of her on Monday, and then contacted the authorities. The Attorney General's office told CNN they believe the three women went missing are residents of the United States, but not U.S. citizens. Uh, the official said the three women are traveling to a town called China to uh, met, met Monte Morales uh, when they disappeared. Now, I, I don't know how or what, um, I don't know how or what type of assistance that you can give uh, Mexico or, or when they're Mexican citizens, it'd be like China. I guess if they had China had three American people here, you couldn't put much pressure on the United States if they were living in the United States, basically illegally. I don't, I don't know. Um, but I'm sure the uh, United States will help them. Uh, the police chief said the department confirmed the women crossed the border at the Anzalus port, Anzalus port of entry, February 24th, 1995, Chevy Silverado. The chief uh, urged the uh, public and local authorities that any information could lead to the whereabouts of the women. Once the crossing was confirmed, the FBI was notified. I won't know that the FBI would be able to do anything in the, Mexico with Mexican nationals that are missing, no matter how they were living in the United States. Unable to provide comment, ongoing investigation. Yeah. Um, uh, the FBI has not intervened in the official capacity at this time, according to the AG's office. Well, I can understand why. They're not American citizens. I'm sorry, they live in Texas, but they're not American citizens. Uh, spokesman for uh, Ned Price said Monday in a briefing, we are aware of three Mexican nationals who reside in Texas who have been reported missing. And basically, they're aware of the reports, but they are citizens missing. They're not U.S. citizens missing in Mexico. They are Mexican citizens missing in their own country. And we'll go back. These are some pictures of a roadblock that they're doing. Mexico down there trying to locate these women. And, you know, I'll be honest with you, I am very sorry these women are missing. I'm very sorry. And we hope that uh, they are found located alive. But a uh, big, huge but is they are not American citizens. And America has no right to go down into another country at, you know, it's just like I said, they're like China come over here and say, we're going to look for people that are missing in California. or We're going to look for people that are missing in Texas. You, they don't have any authority to come over there. So we, for, for our own citizens, uh, it didn't matter how long they've lived in China. See what I'm saying? I just have, I don't think they're going to have any type of, of issue about, uh, three Mexican nationals. They live in, they're from Mexico, born, raised, everything, Mexican citizens, but they were living in Texas. How they were living in Texas. Did they have a visa? Did they have a immigration green card? 
They do not say that in any of the material that I've read. So, you know, I don't know how much they can. But apart from that, we hope they are found alive and well. The cartels run Mexico. Mexico, the president is a figurehead. The cartels run Mexico. They control everything. That'd be just like the, the American mafia running the United States, even though they do run certain cities and certain, you know, there are crimes, uh, gangs and stuff that run certain blocks and cities and control certain areas. And we fight, the uh, police fight that every day, but they, there's not cart, there's not mafia that say run the East coast, the total East coast. You can't do certain things on, on certain Mexico. You can't be involved in anything in certain ports of Mexico. You can't go in certain ports of Mexico because cartels, they own it. They run it. And if you do, you wind up dead. I mean, they, you know, you've heard horror stories. They've hung them people upside down with their heads cut off from overpasses. They've, you know, stuff like that. And corruption is so high. Excuse me. I was in law enforcement. I've been threatened many times, but I've never had anybody come up and threaten me where I didn't have the backing of the whole department, the FBI, anybody I needed to help me get these people and put them in jail. And that's what I've done in the past. So down there, they don't have to, they don't have to worry about the police. Police paid off in a lot of cases now. Uh, so I have little faith. I will, you will never see me in Mexico. Uh, I went down there on a cruise ship and I liked, got in trouble with the federales. I wanted to take a picture with them, ask to take a picture of them. And the guy put an AR-15 in my face. So I just, I didn't feel safe down there the whole time I was there. Um, you know, um, I decided, we decided we're not going to do anything like that where we have, we go and we get off in Mexico. We just stay on the boat if that's the case. Um, but anyway, uh, this is a situation and we're going to discuss this more and more on Thursday at seven o'clock live. That's when we have our, the missing live stream. We have a lot of people. We discuss any types of crimes from the Susan Morphew case, uh, missing case to, uh, the, uh, the, uh, all of the children's cases missing. And if there's a case that is really happening right now, we'll discuss it. And we are going to discuss this one Thursday night, but we also cover a lot of missing people, uh, that are out there also. Um, and if you have somebody missing in your community, whether you're in the United States, in England, in Mexico, and you would like to get it out, we have, um, I think we've had about almost 500,000 people view the channel, although that only 25% of people that view it subscribe. But we have a lot of, view, uh, of viewers out there. And if you got somebody, send it to the missing live stream at gmail.com that is the missing live stream at gmail.com and we'll try to cover it so I, I appreciate it i hope i see you on thursday hope you subscribe to the channel give us a little thumbs up click the little bell beside that uh this uh where you subscribe and we hope to see you thursday night at seven o'clock <laughs>